In all of the blurb that we have in our shows, it's all bullshit free. Yeah, we, bullshit we, free. we don't have any art bullshit. Um, if, if, you, if someone comes in that doesn't know anything at all about art, they will know about it from the blurb without it being over intellectualised, without them using a lot of art. Wank. Can you say that? We can't say that on accident. started um, when Deborah and I met each other where we were working um, not too far from here and um, we would spend our breaks and lunch times planning our escape and we decided to set up a gallery together um, and shortly after leaving um, we, we started planning it. We couldn't find um, an appropriate building um, things were very expensive at the time so before the property crash so we decided to do it in my house. Um, and it was supposed to be a temporary measure at the time, see how it goes for a year and then branch out. Um, and we're still here after three years. And certainly when we were starting out, um, the benefit of being in my house um, was that we didn't have, although I set up to pay the mortgage and everything, we didn't have the worry of um, paying huge overheads for a, you know, another building. So we could be a bit more um, mm-hmm. free about what we showed, a bit more experimental. So we've had loads of different projects here, installations, residencies, um, maybe the shows, more traditional, um, but we, we like to have quite a lot of variety in our programmes, so we'll have a painting show, then we'll have an installation show. Um, we, we like to change the physical physical areas as well. The, the physical know, space. The physical space. This area we're in has been a cave, it's also been uh, an extraterrestrial sort of womb <laughs> with cocoons hanging in them. Uh, it's been sectioned off like a ghost train, it's been Narnia. So whenever we get the chance to completely physically change the space, we will go for that. Because yeah. without to on funding, we can do more of those things. I think humour has been a real theme in our shows, a lightness of touch, um, a willingness to not take ourselves too seriously, not take the work too seriously, um, whilst at the same time taking the work very seriously. For example, things like our show Drink and Dial, um, our show Is There Anybody There? And even Afternoon Tea at the Venice Biennale. I mean, whilst, it, whilst we showed a fantastic range of works by 70 artists, we, you know, we, we served we enjoyed, tea, we enjoyed we ourselves, enjoyed we camp, served... Right? It was very camp, it was, yeah. you know, very camp. So we are, we, we definitely, um, um, go out to, to have fun whilst showing great work. The show that we have on at the moment, um, it's an exhibition of paintings by two artists. They both happen to be Axis artists. Um, Wendy Elia, who's in this room, and Marguerite Warner, who's in the other room. Um, the show is called The MacGuffin, um, and The MacGuffin is a device um, upon which um, a plot hangs, often a suspense plot. And what ties all these paintings together, and both artists together, is that in all of their works, when you look at them, you're not quite sure sometimes what it is that's driving you to look at them. Um, is it that particular expression on that person's face? Is it the, the, the telephone lines going across Marguerite's paintings? Is it the little red car? Is it the, um, you know, the idiosyncratic detail? Um, the lurking danger, what is it? But whatever it is, by the time you've gone through that thought process, it's too late almost, you've already been sucked into them. So um, for us, it was about, um, these are paintings that may seem quite pretty and innocuous at first, and maybe do they even um, warrant me to look at them further? But there's something seductive about them that draws you in. While we're still here in this space, we are actively looking um, to, to maybe move into a larger space or a space that's um, in a different location. Um, one thing that we don't have here is great footfall, for example. Um, and we, and also it's my house, so it would be really nice to have my house back. Um, but we also feel that some of the exhibition possibilities here, curatorially, in terms of the space, have been exhausted. So we're quite 
keen to do something fresh. 